Conformations of Cyclohexane. We've already seen that cyclohexane is most stable as a chair. In fact, there are two different chairs that cyclohexane can adopt. Either one has zero angle strain and zero torsional strain. But to get from one to the other, the pathway is actually very high in energy. First we go through a half chair, where we have four eclipsing interactions, then a twist boat, then a boat, which has lots of strain because of interference between hydrogens here and here, then the opposite twist boat, the opposite half chair, and finally the other chair. This whole process, going from one extreme to the other, is called a ring flip. Now, the chairs are so much stable than the other conformations that essentially we can ignore the other conformations and just consider the cyclohexane as being in one of two chairs. So normally, we'll consider a ring flip like this. Cyclohexane spends all of its time either as this chair or this chair. How is this like a chair, you say? Imagine this rightmost carbon is the headrest. So your head's here and your butt is here. Your knees are bent over this corner and then this is the footrest. Here's a 3D view of the molecule. Now, there are 12 hydrogens here that aren't shown in the bond line structure, but you can see them in the 3D. However, you can also see the chair here. Notice my drawing is a little bit more pronounced. So, headrest at the right. Here's where your butt goes. Your knees are slung over this, and then here's your footrest. Here's the molecule rotating, so you can get a full view of it from all angles. Again, headrest, footrest. Now this chair has 12 hydrogens connected to it, one or two on each carbon. The ones that are in the vertical axis are what we call axial. And you'll notice that three of the axial hydrogens point straight up, this one, this one, and this one, and the other three point straight down, this one, this one, and this one. The difference is the attitude of the carbon they're attached to. So the ones that point up, their carbon is at the top of a V that opens downward. The top of a V opening downward. And I just highlighted those three in red for you. The ones that are axial and pointing straight down, those are at the bottom of a V that opens upward. There are also six hydrogens in the equatorial positions. This one is up, this one is down. Up equatorial, down equatorial, up equatorial, down equatorial. When we do a ring flip, Everything that's axial switches with everything that is equatorial. And the headrest becomes the footrest. The footrest becomes the headrest. So you can see the rightmost carbon that was my headrest is now my footrest. The leftmost carbon that was my footrest is now my headrest. 
this hydrogen here that's now up axial is this hydrogen here that was down equatorial before sorry that was it's this hydrogen here that was up equatorial before this hydrogen here that was down equatorial is now down axial over here you can also see that all of the hydrogens that were in axial positions are now equatorial. One other thing to point out about the result of a ring flip. Look at our initial chair. The three carbons that were at the top of a V opening downward are highlighted in green. Those same three carbons in the flip structure are now at the bottom of a V opening upward. Like so. Moreover, the three carbons in the initial structure that were at the bottom of a V opening upward are now at the top of a V opening downward.